Hello. In this first part, I've described how to make Laravel 5.6, 5.7, 5.8 default authentication system, login, register, etc. using users table migrated from default migration. Our purpose to have admin login system from URI point slash admin. Later in the third part, we'll make that path manageable. In this second part, we'll continue our work on admin part. It means we'll create controllers in separate directory, routes separate from user routes by route service provider, blade views with admin LTE template dashboard. Also, we'll work on such important files which were middleware kernel handler. So let's get started. Copy user.php and pass that in the same directory named as admin.php. Also soon we'll use admin guard for admin out system so we'll add protected property. Copy user directory and pass that in the same directory named as admin. So we have a new directory here, admin for the admin out. We must change all namespaces and make them correct. In our video, as we need to have only admin signing system without any registration, password or setting, and in this part we'll concentrate on just admin login controller so you can just leave all the controller files in admin directory and take care only for login controller at this time i will delete this if you want you just can delete this following files from admin out as we want to have admin login system powered from admin URI point then we need to init redirect to protected property we need to change middleware for admins as quest admin also we need to add guard protected method Also replace all return view user matches with return view admin inside of admin directory. It means that we need to have other blades for admin views. We will create them soon. As I said, we'll use admin guard. It means we should work on app exceptions handler PHP. Before Editing that file, I just want to let you know some concepts of handler PHP. As you can see, we have a class handler extended from exception handler, which is the same as eliminate foundation exemptions handler. Here we can find the protected function authenticated. As you can see, on each authenticated web request, Laravel will run this method and redirect to login page. In our case, we'll override this method. We'll decide uh, which page we want to redirect before returning to the login page. Let's understand our purpose. We want to have two types of clients, users and admins, which will have their separate login pages, home pages, routes. So we need to have a main page after their login process. In handle public function of redirective authenticated PHP file, we will decide where exactly to redirect the clients after logged in users. As we can see, it depends from current guard. This step is a super important thing we must to do. 
will add the new features for the new admin guard provider and also optional functionality configuration for password resets. We can make that configuration in the config out.php. Not just don't forget to clear out your app caches after config caches changes, sorry, else it will not work as you want. You can do that with simple way using my package installed in the previous first part or with default Laravel way. In this step we'll create a migration for admins table. For this we'll copy existing migration of users and rename that to create admins table dot php. Now we can create admins table too. For that we need to run migrations via these two commands, emptying db and running migrations, php artisan drop tables, php artisan migrate, or just can recreate our db using migrations refreshing command, php artisan migrate refresh. As I said, we had to separate these routes. It means that we should have admin.php in the same directory like web.php. In there, we need to have all the admin routes. We'll make that happen from route service provider. As you can see, we have created additional protected function map admin routes for admin routes with admin.prefix ls slash admin prefix URI segment. It means that uh, we should have admin.php. Also in route service provider we must change map web routes function content. It shows that we have already initialized path prefix for user controllers. So we should remove the user prefix path from routes web.php. Admin blade views structure will be similar to resources views user structure, but it will have additional files. Now I will put here below all contents of blade views. Login.blade.php App.blade.php Dashboard.blade.php Aside.blade.php Flashes.blade.php Footer.blade.php Heat.blade.php header.blade.php scripts.blade.php In this section we will download and import some ready stuff for our app. I will use this resource in many projects. You may heard before about admin LTE to open source stuff. So I've grabbed that for me. For this video you can just download the .zip file from here and extract that in your public directory. Not, may you already have public CSS and public JS folders. 
you need to override this do it to put in the extracted files or just remove that before importing Now create an admin in admins table for checking the admin out system. You can create a new admin record in admins table with different ways. One of that is running these commands using Tinker. Now we have two types of clients, user and admins, which can authenticate using different tables behind the scenes. Rename user controller to admin controller. Don't forget to rename the class name too. We have worked it on following stuff. Exceptions handler, controllers, admin and user, middleware, redirect f authenticated model admin user route provider with separated admin and user routes admin migration public stuff including css js images fonts admin lta template etc blade views for admin panel note for your information we just can't be uh, logged in client as user and as admin at the same time. So we did this, congrats. Now we have some simple and boilerplate app for further usage. You just can have your ready stuff for yourself in somewhere, GitHub or something like that, and clone, fork or download that in every time when you want to build a new app which will have this multi-out functionality on it. But you may will ask, in this the end, Actually, I'll say no. It means that I'll continue to improve this boilerplate. I'm planning to use clients' permissions in this app. May you have already used its patches package for permissions. So I will install, configure, and use that in this app. Also, we'll add some additional stuff here to in the next third part. So thanks. See you in the next video.